Okay, hello everybody. Today is the uh, Independence Day of Finland. We are having 104th year of independence. Well, okay, we are part of EU not nowadays, so we are not uh, so independent anymore. But since the way that world is going, uh, I would like to read uh, a prayer which was given by a Finnish president called Kyrsti Kallio. And this president uh, read this prayer, uh, I think, in, in, uh, in a radio uh, during Winter War in 1939, when Finnish uh, people were, well, attacked by Russians uh, during that war. And, um, and Finnish people... We had much more smaller um, army uh, than Russia. Of course, we're a very small country. About well, nowadays we're five and a five point five million. So back in those days, we were maybe three million or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but very very small um, uh, army against Russians who had like millions of <laughs> soldiers. Of course, they were having war against other nations too, uh, but they were trying to come and attack Finland and invade Finland. And luckily, during that time, we had a uh, president who was believer in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and um, he gave this prayer uh, for Finnish nation. So I would like to read this, and if you are interested of uh, finding out about Finnish Winter War, there are some uh, documentaries um, in YouTube, and uh, it was very mil miraculous war, um, very kind of like big biblically, very like um, uh, miraculous because Finnish people turned to God, prayed for God, um, and miracles happened, angels appeared to, in the, where, where the war was, uh, you know, battles were going on and stuff like that, and, and, and there are records about that, um, at least in Finnish, I don't think, you know, if there's very much information in English, but it was very miraculous, miraculous thing that happened, Finland was the only country that Russia was trying to invade, which didn't uh, go under the um, Soviet, back in the day there were Soviets under the Soviet uh, ruling. So Finland was the only country that was able to keep its independence uh, after the war. So, or well, actually we had several, well, I think we had two different wars uh, against uh, Soviet Union. Back then. But anyway, I'm gonna read this right now to you, the translation that I made of this prayer. Here we go. Our Heavenly Father, look towards our people in your mercy. You have created it and you love it. You see that it is in the most grave danger. Because of that, we pray for you. Lord, help us in our distress, and do not let us drown. Give a gift of repentance from the ways of sin and lawlessness, which are leading our people to destruction. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, without you, we are powerless against the destructive powers which are flooding over our people and are poisoning it. That is the reason why we are boasting for your victory against the evil spirits, which are seen taking effect on a daily basis in, in public eye through words and pictures. Lord, you have won the evil forces of, at the cross of cavalry. Even today they must Move away, because we praise your name over them. 
In this we believe that even in our time you can protect people from satanic deception. Lord, have mercy on us. Help us through your Holy Spirit to start in our own lives a fight against sin and to have endurance till the end. Make us as a sign of your saving grace in the midst of our people. Fill us with your love in such a way so that we become obedient to your commandments. May your love be that power which will win the powers of darkness in our nation. Lord Jesus Christ, we can do all things through you in that we believe. Have mercy on us. Amen.